Good morning. Okay, this is where our hotel is, La Cannes, the 15. So we checked out, got a lot of rest, 11 hours sleep. Here's uh, the, the square again. Care to take your pictures. Okay, we're leaving Brussels today and going to Antwerp. But right now we're gonna go get some brunch. Hi. Bonjour. 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 Hey y'all. This is us right here. La vie de la vie. It's good, nice and strong. Melted good hot goat cheese on salad. Yum yum. Oh, Very awesome. nice. <laughs> Let's see. Wow. <laughs> nice. Merci, monsieur. Nice. Look at that. Okay. We got some mussels here. This was the. What, which way did he recommend these mussels? The homemade? Yes. Look at that. I don't even know how to eat this. I'm just going to dig in. Did I even get a muscle there? Oh man. Mmm. This is delicious. Is it good? Yeah, there's like celery in here and onions. Like the sauce. How's the muscles? It's very good. Very, very good. It's very interesting. Everything's really clean and beautiful here in Brussels. So we just had our breakfast, and now we are going breakfast, lunch, brunch, and now we're gonna go to Cantillon Brewery. <sighs> it's hard. It's a hard life. It's a hard life for us. It's the hard knock life for us. It's the hard knock life for us. There's Tintin. <laughs> Yeah, let's go look in there. It's a lot of different beers. All the good ones. Triple Carmelet. Atwigan. St. Bernardus. Whatever you want, it's here. <laughs> and the taste of its beers, all of which are very different from what is associated with contemporary beer production. Okay, now, I'm, I'm a beer tour guide today. Be my apparently. beer tour guide. This is the brewing area. This? This is the brewing is area. Tintin. On to number two. Who does number two work for? This is a room with hot broilers. Boilers? What's the hot boiler? Is that this? Yes, we boil the wort. And the crushing machine. Yeah, they put hot water, boiling water through those the hot tubes. Hot are made of copper and consist of propellers that mix the hops with the wort and coils through which the steam circulates. Approximately 10,000 liters of wort are pumped into these two broilers. For this step, we use 25 kilograms of hops for 10,000 liters of liquid. The 7,500 liters of wort left after boiling are pumped into the cooling room, which is room number four. So that's the wart arriving on the cooling ship. 
We have now arrived at one of the key stages of fermentation process. Every oh no, this is for the wort to cool it, okay. At the center of the room, you can see a very large copper vessel. Every part of it is riveted and there is not a single well to be found and this truly makes it a coppersmith's masterpiece. Mm. The vessel is quite shallow, but it has a large surface area. Once the hops have been cooked and removed, the 7,500 liters of wort are pumped into here and the functional form of the vessel speeds up cooling and flavors the direct contact of the wort with the ambient air. The wort sterilized in the hot bo boiler starts being inoculated with natural fermenting agents, bacteria and yeast, as soon as its temperature has dropped to 40 Celsius. The cooling tun room is seen as a true sanctuary by the brewer as it is home to a unique variety of microorganic fauna. Researchers at the University of Leuven studying the organic chemistry aspects of lambic fermentation have identified 100 different strains of yeast, 27 strains of acidic acid bacteria which produce acidic acid in the presence of oxygen, and 38 strains of lactic acid bacteria which produce lactic acid in just one type of lambic. Wow! and the CO2 produced by the yeast naturally saturates severe. Okay, so this is the giz. We, took, we had the lambic, and the lambic was very flat and sour. Not too sour, but it was just flat. It wasn't something I would drink a lot. So they take it, the lambic, and they blend one, two, and three years. So this is the giz, which is a blend of one, two, and three-year-old lambics. And this looks carbonated. <laughs> Ooh, it's not very sour though. I mean, it's a little sour, but it's obviously they're not trying to make it like super sour or anything. Mm. That's good. This is the cherry. This is the cherry. This is the famous cherry two-year-old. Yes. Two-year-old lambic in which it, in which Sherbet cherries type of sour cherry has been soaked for five to six months. A quantity of young lambic equal to one third of the volume of the creek is added before bottling to obtain secondary fermentation. Oh, you can definitely taste the cherries in there. Mmm. It's good, isn't it? Yeah, I like that a lot. It's the first sour it's I've It's kind of like cherry juice. Taste I mean, it tastes like, like cherries. Okay, so Kara likes the creeks. And this is the Rosé de Gambrinus. Same as Creek, but with raspberries. It's good, it's not as good as the cherry one though. I prefer the cherry one. Okay, so we, to sum it up, we didn't like the Lambic, but we understand it's important. <laughs> the the Giz was good. I liked it, Kara didn't like it, but I think you like this stuff as long as it has some kind of fruit in it. Apparently That's the yes. consensus. Peace, we out. It was a great experience at the Cotillion Brewery. All right, so the West Mall uh, Abbey here, and we're gonna have some beers here at the cafe where you can get the famous West Mall beer right by the Abbey. We have the asparagus menu, the white asparagus. I wanna get some asparagus. Let's get some. There we got our fancy beer. We got, we got my white trap, trappist. Go for it. Is this the one I tasted last night or this one? This is the one you had last night. Mm, that's really good. This tastes like the one we had at the restaurant last night. Yeah. That was a true bell. This is a do bell. Oh, okay. oh no, that's the do bell. This is the double. But what did we have last night? It was a triple, though, right? At the restaurant? It was a true bell, yeah. That's really good. What percent alcohol is that? I think it's like seven. And that's like nine and a half. Yeah, I don't like that. You don't like that one as much? Mm -hmm. I mean, it's okay, but this one I really like. The double. Correction. Correction. This mm. is the Trippel, that's the Dubel. I've had these beers before, but. Well, let's start with their white Trappist ale. 
This is the uh, La Trap, right? Mmm. It's good. It's like a wit beer, like a whole garden. Mmm. Yummy. Epiweissen. Kind of. All right. These are cute little glasses. I right know, aren't they? All right. Let's do the Dubel first. Malty. You didn't like that? I think you would have liked that. Taste the other one. It's even more malty. Really? It's just clear. This is the best one. That is super yummy, guys. That's the one you bought yesterday? Yeah. Super yummy, guys. Which one's the higher rated one? This one. Oh. Okay, so we had a good time here at the Cafe West Lateran. That's what it's called, right? Uh, it's the Cafe by the West Lateran. I mean the West Mall. West Mall. <laughs> cafe West Mall. <laughs> Too, many beers. Too many beers. So, anyway, really nice. Just lots of old people. Just, it's not your typical brewery experience. Like, you're not gonna get 20-somethings, you're gonna get 80-somethings here. But that's cool, they like to have fun. They can have fun just like everybody else. Just, just keep it, keep it quiet. Okay, now we're gonna go check out the uh, monastery. We're gonna see if they can convert me today. It's a monkerstery. It is a monastery. It's where monks live. It's a monastery. It's not a convent. It's called something else. So. Got it is. Yes. Honey. What? We should get our bikes and do this and English tracks. We should. Okay, well, it's as close as they're gonna let us into the abbey. This monastery. That's it. That's where the magic happens. That's where the beer's made. No, the brewery's up here. The brewery's up there. That's where that's where they monk. The monk on. Look right there. That's the room. What? The training room. For the what? That what I just read to you about. Oh, that's where they have to train to become monks. They train for two years to become like a junior monk. Uh huh. And then it takes three more years after that until they become a full fledged monk. So it's a five year process. Five year process. If you want to become a monk. Just show up here and in five years you will be a monk. If you do follow all the steps and you can drink all the beer. No, they have like a certain amount of beer they can drink every day, right? I don't know, you're the one that watches the documentary. I'm sure they don't get loaded every night. No, they probably, probably don't get just loaded. In their day, like they probably have a beer with their dinner or something. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna put in a description box. Down below, how many that's how you know beers the monks can have? Not, they're Catholic, right? Yes, they are Catholic. They're Catholic monks. and not Protestant. Right. So they love their beer. Right. Being 1836. Okay. According to the rules of their order. Is that Trapp when Belgium became a country? I don't know. Trappist monks were permitted to drink the same beverages as the local populace: water, milk, and beer. And it was for that reason that the monks decided to start a brewery. Do you think one of these guys can just throw me a bottle over the wall? So this is it, this is the brewery. I mean, I'm just, go. just help a brother out. Just throw a bottle over the, over the wall to me so I, I can know. drink it. What? Do you think all their sewage goes into the here? Because it smells terrible. Oh, it has a moat. This abbey has a moat. Can I look under here? Sure. 
someone walking in there. There is? It's a man. He doesn't have monk clothes on. He's a regular dude? Do you know? Just has the hands sweatshirt. <laughs> well, it's just a regular dude. He looks like he's walking over here like, get the hell away from my gate. Okay, West Mall brews two types of beer, a reddish brown Dubel uh -huh. and a golden yellow Tripel. When the monks doubled the ingredients of the first beer they produced, the single brown, they obtained a new type of beer which they called Dubel. The same method applies to the Tripel. The names Dubel and Tripel therefore originated in West Mall and were later adopted by other breweries. So they were the inventors. They were the OGs. The OGs of Dubell and Tripel. Mm, and they still only rank number three. <laughs> I'll open the gate. Hello. We thought a monk would come out, but it's... Sorry? We oh, thought a monk would come out. That's all the entrance. You mean it's just holding down the tarp and there's something under there that they're... The tires? I'm not sure. That's where the TP comes out. TT. Hi. Hi, you're so cute, little babies. Hi, little babies. All right, Hi. come on. Mutual of Omaha Animal Hi. Kingdom is over. Hi. Hi. 